Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics and welcome to Autumn Leaves and Fall Breezes. <laughs> I think that's the name of it. Thank you, Sonia, for hosting this event. If you're on replay, hashtag replay. If you're new to me, say hi. Let me know you're new so I can give you a proper welcome. Feel free to sprinkle my video about. And if you like my style, become a new friend. You can sign up for text alerts. The number's in the description. It's also on our website at scrappiesrustics.com in the menu area. It's 727 Seven three two three zero three eight. Text high for normal notifications. Shop for first dibs on the website. Hey, Ramona or Night Owls, if you want to be text after ten p.m. Eastern. And I am the closer of today's event. So, hey, Robin, if you want to see everybody back to back, go over to Sensational Events. The link is in the description. It's a free group, and you can see everybody. Hey, Sheila, my sweet friend with Simply Simple Creations by Sheila, Sherry, Belinda. Hello, ladies. Um, it was a good it was a good event today everybody was different it was awesome so if you're looking for some fall inspiration get yourself over there hey lisa teresa ah, lisa teresa michelle hello friend let me refresh myself just in case we get any stinkers i can squish them hello kelly alan brown cindy hello it's like we just saw each other y'all like we just saw each other like a big kumbaya hey, hi terry <laughs> i saw your email but i haven't read it hey tammy i saw it Oh man, I got a goofy face. <laughs> uh, the craft, the crafting addict is in the house. Aren't we all? Oh, what did I do? What have I done? Hold on, I did something crazy. Hold on. Hey, Peggy, Diane, welcome, welcome. Um, good grief, what is happening? It's taking too long to open. It's irking me. Hey, Merla and Kelly. As I had said, if you all missed today's, I'm the closer of autumn leaves and fall breezes. I think I got it backwards. Um, hey, Susie. <laughs> Uh, thank you for roasting the scraps. Thanks for sprinkling me about. Um, okay, good. We're all set for squish any stink bugs. Hey, Juanita, the link is in the descript description. Free group. Check it out. Hey, Teresa. So, y'all know, anybody that follows me, I am extremely time challenged. We're going to try to finish this. We're going to do some crackle. Um, hey, Judith, Michelle, welcome. So, I didn't want this pumpkin. I actually bought it on accident. Um, I put it, wow, well, it's kind of an accident. A little bit of an accident. Hey, Linda, Ruth. At Target, it was in a dollar spot. It was a five dollar pumpkin. I don't think this was worth five bucks, but I meant to put it back. And um, triple L's in the house. Woo woo. Um, hey, Patty. Thank you, Denise. Hello. I ended up buying it, and I didn't realize it. Anywho, it's porcelain. I peeled the sticker off the bottom, but I was like, oh, it needs a little something, something. So what I did was, what I did to spruce it up a little, is. I used the Horse in the Hound um, IOD Iron Orchid Designs mold, and I used, I think I used this one with the acorns in it and the leaves, and then I used the leaves, and then I needed a little smaller acorn to just fill in one of the holes, so the only tiny one was, I think it was right here, this little one, so I just used a little tiny piece right there, so I used those, and I really think these look like pumpkin leaves, and they're nice and tiny, so it was perfect. Um, and I used uh, IOD air dry clay and that's all I did is I spruced them up but look how cute that looks just that little bit um, just added some juice to it hey Anita and Mary so just a couple leaves a couple acorns yeah that's the little one I needed to because uh, it kind of looked weird right there it wasn't balanced so that's what we got so we're gonna um, crackle this and this is a different type of crackle I don't think a lot of people are familiar with it. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate your time. I, I hope I can inspire you uh, to maybe try this for yourself. You like my braid? Thank you. Uh, I've been packing orders all day from the auction. I'm getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> um, this is um, a Pentart product and it's a, cyst, a crackle system. This one we're gonna use is Pentart crackle system, the fine line. It's a little deceiving because the fine line is actually the bigger cracks of the the two there's a classic and a fine line you would think the, the classic is actually the smaller lines when you think of something really old and it has like crazen on it and it has those little tiny tiny cracks that's what the classic is and this is uh, a little bit bigger cracks and it also the part two is tinted a little so it makes it look aged um so we'll see we'll see and then we're going to um in order because you're really it's kind of boring to watch, I'm not gonna lie, but it's a process. Um, it's a process, you gotta do dit, 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 to get to the result. And you really can't see anything until you add the last um, layer, which is either a wax or a paste. 
You can even use eyeshadow, you can use mica powders, there's all different types of stuff you can use. Um, you just have to, um, you just bought that, but awesome, awesome. You just have to, um, you have to basically fill in the cracks so it'll expose it. Kind of when you wax a mold, you really can't see the details until you put that last layer on there. Sheree, oh, are you still in the hospital, my friend? So we're gonna use the Pentart, uh, an antique paste in the color Umber. Umber. <laughs> And I got a new, well, it's for my spray painting, but I got a little spinny thing. I don't know if it's going to help me in this case today, but we'll see. But I'm going to try to finish, y'all. I'm going to try to finish. So first off, I just need to hit this with, I meant to do this before and I forgot. I'm going to hit it with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, just to get all the, you know, you know, gook off, oils, anything like that. I'm not even going to paint this. We're going to go right over the white. Um, the fine lines part two is... Um, kind of tinted, you know, a little, kind of looks like honey, kind of, like honey. Um, hey, Terry, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. Hey, Rose, I appreciate y'all's time. If you're new to me, hello, my name is Tracy. I'm with Scrappy's Rustics. If you ha missed any of the event today, uh, the event group is in the link, Sensational Events. Check it out. You can watch everybody back to back. Um, oh, I missed what, something's kicking somebody's butt. Not going to make it to that. Yeah, sure. You hope you feel better, my friend. Okay. So, um, yeah, so it'll give it a little aged look. But you could totally paint this. I, I've done this um, process over um, Vintage Duck Egg, which is like a blue, and it's beautiful. Um, so if you want to paint it, absolutely. The only thing I can tell you is if you do use any of these, this system, just want to make sure that you are dry in between each layer that you do. That's the key. Hey, Beverly. So... Part one, it's kind of just like glue is really what it is. And I'm gonna go over the, I'm gonna go over the leaves and everything. I don't know if we're gonna paint the leaves in the end or just leave them, um, leave them part of this. I'm not sure, we'll have to see what it looks like. Texas in the house, hello, Linda. Hello, Deborah. Oh boy, it's stuck, you yeah. It's kinda, kinda glued in there. I guess it's been, been a minute since we crackled, huh? Hey, Jeannie. I missed Beth. Oh, guys, really stuck. It's really stuck. It is just like glue. From what I understand, both Pentark, the different crackle systems, part one is the same. That's what a birdie told me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Now, I can also tell you that your brush strokes matter. And I'm going to show you how they matter because this is going to be our end result. This is the fine line crackle, too. And no two are ever the same. They don't ever come out the same. Um, but this is just an example of how the brush strokes matter because I did this entire thing. Hey, Phyllis, I hope you're feeling better. Uh, and I hope, I hope you get out of the hospital soon. Um, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Um, this is to show you how different brush strokes going different ways will give you a different appearance. So obviously this one was pretty open space. So I was able to go up and down. Look at that crackle, y'all. Is that sick or what? Um, but you can see here on the sides how it's different and it gets smaller. So, you know, I was trying to get up the goop that way. But now what I'm not sure of is um, if it was the part one or the part two or a combination of both that made that look. Thank you so much for the stars. Hey, Janet, Texas in the house. So I don't know. I don't know. And it blew up the, that transfer. So I, it, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I sealed it and everything. Hi, Connie. So I like to use a um, soft brush. Um, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with a smaller brush with this. So let's see what happens. I don't think this is spinny thing is going to do me any good because I really don't want it. You don't want to touch it and you don't want to overwork it. Kind of like any crackle, it's there if I need it. Kind of like any crackle. You don't want to overdo it and you don't want to overwork it, but you don't want to miss either. So if you have to go back and uh, get it, then, then go back and get it. It is kind of thick like Mod Podge, so it does kind of drag, um, but just, you know, work your way through it drag it through, drag it through get you some more on your brush don't be afraid to use a lot of product um, we'll have some dry time in here so I can um, uh, hey Dana so I can uh, read y'all's comments that uh, the pumpkin is from Target I didn't mean to buy it I mean I thought it was cute but I was like it's not five dollars cute and then I forgot to take it out of my cart and it came home with me so <laughs> hey roll it is good stuff. It's different. Look at them drooling it all over the place. It's definitely a different product. Um, it's just neat. It's just neat. But like I said, it is important to have it dry in between. 
you can do this over paint, no problem. Doesn't matter what kind of paint, just as long as it's dry in between coats. That's all. That's all. As long as it's dry. Yeah, Target, not dollar spot. <laughs> Target, five dollar spot. Why do they call it a dollar spot? It's not really, hardly anything's ever a dollar there. Should just be called the spot. See, now it looks weird right there. I see some bubbles. <laughs> so you're really not going to see anything happen until kind of the end. That's not too exciting, is it? <laughs> but just like anything, this is a process. I am going to go over these molds. I'm not sure why. I'd, I think I'm going to go back. I'll go back over the molds so I can see what I'm doing. I kind of, it's kind of hard to see the white on white, but you know, we'll get it done. We'll get her done. Get her done. I think it's going to come out cool. I like the shape of it too. It's not too big. It's, it's not too, I don't know. Three bucks. I would have been like, yeah, let me get two. <laughs> let me get two for five or three dollars, but whatever. Five bucks is five bucks, right? It's over with now. Now it's going to be worth, when I get done with it, it's going to be worth like 20 bucks. <laughs> so I'm making money now. <laughs> I'm making money. <sighs> Woohoo. Sonia, thank you so much for putting on this, this event. You guys, there's a lot of work that goes into an event behind the scenes. I mean, you can only imagine wrangling, you know, 10 creators behind the scenes. You can imagine what those conversations are like. Um, so she does a fantastic job and I appreciate it. Um, hey D, you're not into pumpkins? I love pumpkins. I feel like there's so many, so much you could do with a pumpkin. I mean, I don't have them all around my house, but did I miss that whole spot? I can't tell. Um, but yes, thank you, Sonia. Ooh, I don't know if I should have just went over that spot, but I did. It's too late. It's too late. Ah, oh, hey Deborah, you're not late as long as you're here. You'll make it look like a hundred bucks. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, let's go for a hundred bucks instead of twenty. Let's try to make this thing look like a hundred. We might have to put some gold on it if we're gonna get the hundred dollar mark. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the stem, and then I'll hit these molds. I should have probably painted the molds with a little white, but I didn't because this is probably gonna suck it. I don't. I have crackled over molds, but I don't think I've crackled over a mold that wasn't painted. So. Here we go. We're all gonna find out what it does. Worst case, comes out looking like junk, we will just paint it. We'll paint it, something fancy. Or not fancy, I don't know. I don't, it might look good with everything. Like I said, I really don't, I don't know. So if you guys are just hopping on, I'll give you a, oh, oh, I painted that. Why did I touch that? You're not supposed to touch, <laughs> you're not supposed to touch it. Don't touch it, Trace. I touched it. I have to go over it because I touched it. My fingers got a cramp in it already. This is not good. Um, thank you. I made this shirt last year. It's a um, a silk screen or a mesh transfer stencil from mm, Magnolia. Magnolia. I think it's Magnolia. Yep, Magnolia. Yep. Not crazy about the shirt it's on. It's not the best quality shirt, but it it does the job. Okay. Hopefully I got enough on there. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. We're almost there. I really want to finish this. You guys, I'm terribly time challenged in any event. I have a really difficult time finishing a project. I have no idea how long something's going to take me. I envy those who are like, bam, 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 bam. They knock it all out. And just in the nick of time, they finish their project. Like, see, I'm like, huh? how do they do that? How do they do that? <laughs> Then you got others that are doing three or four projects. I'm like, good grief. I can't even get through one and you just did three. So, yeah. So I struggle. But I keep trying. I keep trying. Hey, Deborah. I did not do the very bottom bottom because um, I, I got a touch somewhere. Hi, Melba. All right. So it's kind of thick and it's going to have to. So it just looks like, it kind of just looks like glue. Elmer's glue on it. Doesn't really smell, kind of has a gluey smell. Um, nothing major, like I said, it's not exciting to watch, but the end process, I promise you, is super cool. I do great, I don't know. Depends who you ask. We're all different, see, that's what makes things great because inspiration comes from somewhere, something, someone says, says something, a color, I mean, 
Inspiration comes from somewhere. Great ideas come from mistakes or happy accidents. Uh, you like the pumpkins, but when they're orange? Well, if we all liked orange, then it would be, there'd be a lot of orange pumpkins around. Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, hey, Carol. Well, welcome, Carol. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you like my style. You become a new friend and follow. I will promise you a smile and a good attitude. Anything after that, I just, I, it's fair game, sister. It's fair game. We just never know what's going to happen. I like to, um, oh, thank you, Lulu. I like, uh, I like to experiment. I like to try things. Um, I come up with some wacky ideas because I can't sleep and my brain just goes, um, and I can't get it out of my mind till I got to try it. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> hey, Hillary. Irma, Hello. No, I know. If you guys are part of the auction last night, I am working my way through the list. As I get to your name, I'll send you your link in your email. I got a lot. I got a long way to go. Uh, my projects are more in debt, time consumed. That, that is kind of true. I get my style is different. Thank you, Patricia. I, my brain just doesn't work with like. I was always, I always am impressed when you see like. Someone does a video and they have a whole pile of every single thing they're going to use and how they're going to use it. Hey, Lori, I, I can't do that. Like, I never could do that. And I, I was always impressed by that. It's just, it doesn't, my brain does not work like that <laughs> at all. At all. It's got to dry. It's important to dry. Nancy, you're new from Michigan. I am in Central Florida, Kathy. Well, welcome, Nancy. My inspiration's motivated you chant it well that just makes everything worth it thank you for telling me that because that's what i really live for to be honest with you it really makes me happy hey angela love my rustic style i messed up not winning the bid on the oh i'm sorry that we can replicate see what we're doing right here girl that's what we did on the cow stool just over decoupage so you can um thank you hillary so you can um put this pen tart uh crackle system over rice paper you can put it over decoupage paper. You can put it over transfers, but I don't recommend it because it doesn't make any sense. Um, some creators have had issues with it and others haven't, and we've both done the same exact thing with sealing them or not sealing them. So, um, hey, Beth, how are you? Beth was in the, uh, the event this morning, so make sure you guys get over to Sensational Events. The link the link is in, the, it's up there. <laughs> the link is in the description. And, uh, Yes, check out everybody from today. Um, the, the transfer, it's just something's not right. Like I showed you that chicken behind me, or the rooster. Um, the whole front of the transfer is like, I, like eaten up. I love the look, but it wouldn't be something like I could sell or anything. All right, I'm going to see where, how dry we are here. You really don't want to touch it, but you know, you got to touch it. <laughs> you don't want to touch it, but you got to touch it. It's hard to tell if it's dry. Put a lot of product on here. I'm gonna touch at the bottom. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Okay, a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes, we'll be done. We're going to step two. Same thing. Ah, oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, thank you. Irma, Irma says you're gonna love me, Nancy. Irma, don't lie. <laughs> Irma, don't lie. Just put a pile of possibilities in my cart so I can. Ah, you finally got me live, Patty. Yes, girl. Thank you, Jerry, Mama Jerry, for spreading me out there. Go Broncos, Janet says. Hey, Mitzi, thank you guys for being here. Happy Saturday. I hit it with my dryer. No, I hit everything with my dryer. Y'all do that? Tink! <laughs> and you know you just peeled the paint off of it or whatever you did. Oh, thanks for welcoming our new friends. Y'all, we hit 25,000 friends. Can you believe that? I am just like, I'm humbled to the max. Humbled to the max. No, Teresa. No, not at all. Humbled to the max. If you ask me, uh, would you ever go live on Facebook, Tracy? No, <laughs> no, no, no way. And here we are. Here we are. Yes, she does have this heat tool. A lot of people do now. It's really fantastic. I happen to sell them on my website. They're made by Ranger, which Ranger makes Tim Holtz. And their original purpose, it's a heated tool. Their original purpose is for um, embossing because like embossing powder, you know, 
you need heat, but you don't want the, um, you know, the force to go with it and blow all your embossing powder all over the place. So that's why this was originally created. Uh, thank you, No Verdict. Yeah, 25000 I've never been happier in my life, and I have a lot of you to thank for it. A lot of you to thank for it. A lot of you have been with me since day one, and um, that alone speaks speaks loud speaks really loud this should be a little little dry little drier i don't want to push it <laughs> thank you kelly yep we're going all the way I told you from day one we're going all the way with this we're taking it to the top taking it to the i don't know how long it's gonna take us to get there but we're going <laughs> we're going we're going we're going i'm ready I'm ready, ready, ready. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. I'm pretty excited. I'm really just blown away. Like, like not. I don't want to say blown away, but just humble. Just humble. Just, it feels good. It feels good. I'm in a good place. I've never been so happy in my life. Never worked so hard in my life either, but it's okay. It's good. It's good. Oh, I thank you, Sharon. Bradington, Florida, but I live in Alabama. Oh, you remember my first live, Ramona? <laughs> well, I couldn't go live for a month because we had that new back room and we thought it, I, like, every time I would go live, it would start out okay for, like, five or ten minutes and then it would go all crazy where my voice was off and my audio was off and we thought it was the metal room. Um, it's still a little tacky. Um tested all the things and it ended up being my phone and my phone was not even that old um so that's why i didn't think of that at first so yeah it was a whole month but i was so anxious i made a couple pre-records and uh yeah here we are you watch kathy today she showed her good oh did she worry oh that's awesome she, my new invention my uh to solve all your roly po rolling project needs <laughs> for the cradle it's genius, right? It's genius. All right, let's go. This probably could be a little drier, but we don't have time. So we're going to go with a part two. Part two. Hey, Gladys. Um, this is the fine line, and it's deceiving. It actually shows, if you can look real close, see the crackles on the label? So there's two two different crackle systems. There's the, um, the fine line, part one and two, and then there's the classic one and two. Um, it's the same process. It's just... This one gives you bigger lines. You would think the fine line would give you finer lines, right? No. The fine line gives you bigger lines. The classic gives you smaller lines. So there's that. There's that. Ooh. Ooh. It's like, um, it's kind of like honey. Let me see. Doesn't smell. Doesn't smell. It smells. No, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. All right, we're going to do the same exact thing. It's a little warm. It's probably just going to melt right off. Oh, my hubs today. Oh, I missed it. You'll make it. Yes, that's right, Georgiana. I'll make it. As long as you guys come with come with me. As long as you guys come with me. Because let's face it, without you, there is no us, right? That's the truth. All right, here we go. Let me get a baggie out. For those of you who don't know, I go through a lot of sandwich baggies. One lady likes to count them and send me a message on how many I used, but that's a whole nother thing. But I just put my brushes in them so I'm ready to wash them so they don't get all janky. So that's why. In case you're wondering. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Um, you need the cradle? Yeah! The cradle's good. Y'all, isn't that this last batch of the cradles came out really good? Came out really good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. And use a soft brush. A soft brush like a um a not a brush, not a natural brush. Natural brush is like too coarse. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. See how this one's a little, has color to it? It'll help us see it. You're going to get drips. Um, I would just let them go because, again, you don't want to overwork this, but you do want to use enough product. Um, this one is a little bit more liquidier. <laughs> liquidier? A little more, oh, really? A stink bug? I'm trying, I'm right in the middle of a crackle system, Mr. Stink. Oh, who is it? Let me get him. Let me get him. She counts my bags, yes. Um, is it Elvis? No, not Elvis. <laughs> Who is it? I 
don't see him. You have to show me who it is. Um, so the, the other, yeah, I don't know who it is, though. Oh, I see now. <laughs> 20, uh, uh, thank you, Kelly, but now i got to find that. So I couldn't see that other person. Oh, there we go. I couldn't see that other person the other day, and I couldn't figure out why. Well, I couldn't find, see her because um, she blocked me. <laughs> she blocked me. I didn't get him. Hold on. I didn't get him. Come on, I only got 45 minutes and you're messing me up. Dang, my, my thing won't go up high enough to get him. Let me try one more time. Hold on. His message is too big. His message is too big. Oh, I can't get his thing right. Maybe he'll comment again. Maybe he'll comment again and I'll get him. I can't, I can hit ban, but then it says you really want to ban. I want to hit yes, but the yes. Look, look what you did, Mr. Stinkbug. You made me have drips. Thanks a lot. Jerk. Thanks a lot. You messed up my pumpkin. That is so rude. So rude. Jeez. Come on now. I didn't do nothing to you. You're messing up my pumpkin. Messing up my pumpkin. Yeah, just ignore him. If you ignore him, he'll go away. He'll go away. Far, far away. So y'all, um, there will be is there another one? There will be um more events in the um there'll be more events in the um sensational events group so make sure i can't get it so make sure you um become a member of that group for the um what's a stink bug some annoying person that's just putting stupid links and saying dumb things is that's a stink bug um yeah so make sure you become a member of that group because there's going to be more um events to come throughout the rest of the year uh but hosted by sonia Sonny's events are always nice. No, um, no drama, no, you know, none of that. Not saying that events have drama, but it's just nice. She's on top of it. It's nice. She knows what she's doing. It's like she's done one before or something. <laughs> that side's a little messed up, but it's okay. The bug's trying to get help me. I guess so. Hey, listen, it's all engagement, y'all. It all helps. It all, it all matters. He wants to give me all that money so I can retire. Is that what's happening? He made my pumpkin drip. Jerk. Jerk. Hi, Nora on Vicky Wick's profile. Oh, how are you, my friend? Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, I am closing the event today. Autumn leaves, fall breeze. I think I have it backwards, but something like that. And, um, you can see everybody today. Yeah, just ignore. All right. I think we got the whole pumpkin. I hope. I got 15 minutes. Hopefully that's enough time. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough time. I don't know. Uh, it's a sc money scammers. You should see the emails I get. It, it's so ridiculous. Like they, they use like, a, um, something they must copy and paste and you're supposed to put in like the verbiage, you know, of who you're emailing it to and, you know, to make it look like a, a real email, but they don't, <laughs> they just paste the whole thing in there. Like insert name here. It says and like, dot, dot, dot. Like, it's so dumb. Like if you're dumb enough to follow up, then, you know, you almost deserve, but it's, I don't know. It's, it's funny. They, they're nonstop. Most of the time the spam folder catches it, but did I, did I do this dumb? I don't remember if I did this. I think I did this stem. Hard to tell. I'm doing it again. Probably not a good idea, but I did. Okay. We got some wicked drips there. But it's okay. I think wiping them at this point is going to be... Make it worse than good. Worse than good. Can one of you all open this bag for me? Please. Please, please. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Ah! I stuck my bag to it. Y'all, I'm having a time here. I'm having a time. Help me. I don't know where it stuck it to, but I did. It stuck. Hey, Ann. It's going fabulous. How are you? 
I don't see where it's stuck, but it's stuck somewhere. Ah, uh, that's the problem. Someone always has to try and make... Yeah, right, Nancy? Got muted again? To oh, no, Cindy. <laughs> what am I putting on the pumpkin? Uh, hey, Gilda. So if you guys are just hopping on... Uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, I have Diane, actually, a couple times. So if you guys are just hopping on, I got this porcelain pumpkin from Target Dollar Spot. And I put two or a couple um, of the acorn acorn and leaves uh, clay molds. These I used two of these here on the top. <laughs> I did that prior to because um, when I use my air dry clay, um, I like it to be dry. So when I get in there um, with whatever I'm using, wax or paint wash or whatever, um, it's, it's nice and dry because it, you can do it when it's still pliable, but then you risk taking out all the details and all that. So, um, I always recommend to let it dry. However, when I did have it here, my star fell over on it and it knocked this over. So it did smash one of the leaves, but it's our secret. It's our secret. It's our secret. It happens. Um, when do they choose? I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're hoping that someone will just, they just like to steal profiles and just do dumb stuff. But hello, my sweet friend, Mara, Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Welcome. We're doing a little fine line pentart crackle. And um, yeah, we're, we're drying part two right now. That's what we're doing. So now you should, you should let this dry on its own in between coats you should totally do that and everything should be dry 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 before putting on another coat and again be generous with it if for some reason you do let them dry um, by themselves and you don't see any crackle because it's really hard it's really hard to see the crackle the lights got to hit it just right if by chance you don't see any and you're moving it to the light and whatnot and there's nothing nothing take your heat tool to it and I can guarantee you, you'll probably even almost hear it. It's going to reach a point and it's going to be like, you know, when I eat Rice Krispies, you're going to hear it snap, crackle, pop. You'll hear this start crackling. So don't get discouraged. Um, sometimes it just needs a little heat taken to it. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, but again, it's got to be dry. And once it hits that dry... I'll know that when this layer's dry, because you'll see, start to see the cracks. Do you put cra crackle over chalk paint? You can, you can put this two-part system over, um, I did not paint this pumpkin, I did it right over the porcelain, um, but you can put the crackle system over paint, you can put it over uh, rice paper, you can put it over decoupage paper, um, you can put it over clay. Um, I can't think off the top of my head what else you put it on. Um, but just important to make sure each layer is dry before going to the next and use a generous amount. Don't be afraid to use it. Uh, you need that horse, that uh, horse in the hound mold is adorable. I, I love it. That horse is so good. And I, I don't even like horses. I haven't done the house, the, the house. I haven't done the hound or the fox yet, but I love the little leaves cause they're perfect for, um, Hey Kathy from Texas. They're perfect for little pumpkins like this. Hey Maureen. Howdy ho. All right, we're getting there because I can see it starting to crackle now. And I will show you. You're going to be amazed. Like I said, it's it looks like I'm just painting clear stuff on this and drying. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I apologize. But I promise you, let me see if you can see this little spot right here. Let me see if I can get the light right. Maybe not. Right there. No? Not really. Kind of. Trust me, they're there. Trust me, I'm a doc. No, they're there. Hey, Jeannie, you just popped on? I'm glad you could catch me, too. Okay. I mean, I'm not a horse lover. I mean, I don't dis I don't dislike them, but I wasn't one of those. I mean, come on, that horse is good. Look at its mane. It's crazy. The fox is good. They're all good. They're all good. A lot of acorns in there, too. Um, and they're all going the same way. You notice that? So they can, like, chase each other. <laughs> they can chase each other. You saw it? 
it's getting more pronounced. It's, I mean, it, like I said, it's hard to see because it's, it's white. Um, I just did a fast video this morning where I used the classic, which is the small, um, the smaller lines, but I did it over black and I used white in the cracks. So that was the first time I did it, uh, like backwards like that. It came out really cute. Almost looks like snakeskin. That one did. But no two projects will ever be the same. They will never come out. It has something to do with your brush strokes. I don't know what that is. A big, a big glob of it. You can see it. I'm all sticky. It's like maple syrup. Oh, yeah. We're cracking up now, boys. Yes. All right. I think I can put this thing down because my, my finger's getting tired. My finger's getting tired. I'm surrounded by horse fire. Oh, thank you so much for the stars. I missed that. Um... Well, I think, I, I grew up on a farm too when I was young, young, and my, we didn't have horses though. Well, no, that's not, that's not true. My dad, at one point, where did you get the mod from? What's the mod, Coral? What's the mod? Uh, the black and white, oh, thank you, um, Kelly. Uh, my dad uh, bordered them or rented out stalls because we had a 32 acres and a farm and all this, but not ones we could ride, and um I think my aunt, somebody took me and my cousin that are six months apart to, um, I'm sick in bed. And, oh no, who's sick? And, uh, whoever's sick, I hope you feel better. Prayers. Can you use gold? Yes, you can use anything you want to crackle. Just, you want to use a contrasting color. So if you use a dark paint, use a light crack, uh, mica powder. People have used eyeshadow. You can use wax. You can use paste. Um, yeah, there's just something to fill in the holes. Hey, Tasha. But anyways, my aunt took us to some place you could go for a ride for the hour or whatever. And my, I don't know if it was my, somebody else's horse went nuts and tried to bite the horse my cousin was on and ended up biting my cousin's leg. And oh my gosh, he had the worst bruise I've ever seen in my life. Um, you like the black base coat and orange turquoise. Oh, that'd be nice too. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah, really sky's the limit here. Um, like I said, the only thing that I can't 100% confidently say to do is put it over a transfer. Um, just because there's been similar... Um, um, there's been similar things done and they haven't worked out right. Um, mold is old. Are you talking about the mold? The mold is old. And who's the Glennis? Uh, Glennis has got to go. It, it's a new release, Glennis. Where is that person? What is going on with people lately? This week is like a bunch of cuckoos. Can't find her. Mm. I don't see Glennis. Yeah, Glennis. Where's Glennis? Right there. I'm talking about no, not Glen not that Glen No, oh, never mind. Never mind. No, the mold is. This is not old. This is their last release. We do have these on the website. It's called The Horse and the Hound. Scrappiesrustics.com. It is in the description. All right. Can you see any crackle? Yes, you can. You can really see it right there. See it right there. Oh yeah, prepare to be amazed. This 40 minutes you've been waiting for the big moment, it has arrived, it has arrived. This is sticky, it gets sticky. Also, it'll never feel like it's dry dry. I mean, it's dry, but it's kind of like tacky. You know how Mod Podge never really dries, it's like tacky. Um, <laughs> girl, uh, the, the mold, yeah, scrappiesrustics.com. I am an IOD dealer. Howdy, dealer, and uh, thank you, MJ, for the start. Um, for my friend Mara with Vintage Retail Therapy, she advised me to get these little guys at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're just the stencil brushes. They're great. Um, where do you buy stuff from? You uh, scrappiesrustics.com. Touch my nose. It's in the description um, because you can throw them out if after a few uses. So we're gonna use the Antique Paste by Pentart in the color umber. It's like a dark, dark brown. Prepare to be amazed. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? 
If you have any questions, message me about any of these products, any one thing that I'm doing, PM me. I uh, will answer you when I get a moment. All right, so I just got some on my brush. Ready? If you're like, why is she putting that brown stuff all over that beautiful white thing she made? She's ruining it. <laughs> she's ruining it. No. No, she's not. She's making it pretty. Hey, pretty. I'm just going to spread this out as much as far as I can. It is warm, so I don't want it to dry on here either. Okay, so there's a big mess, right? Paper towel. Wipe it back. You can use a rag, whatever you got. You can leave some in the, you know, the creases if you want it darker in there. You can go back and add it in, but there's what we've got started so far. Is that crazy? So that's what you're looking at to bam, <laughs> bam. Woo, yeah, it's, it's amazing stuff. I'm gonna go do the big base. Cause I, I got three minutes, I can do this guys. Yeah, na, na, na. I gotta kick in my Rocky gear. <laughs> gotta get this going. I can do it. I need a bigger brush. I need a bigger brush so I can cover more ground. But now my pumpkin is like wicked hot. I would, not hot, but it's pretty warm. I would suggest, you know, letting it cool down a little. Letting it cool down a little. And, you know, obviously it does work if you dry it in between coats, but your best bet is to let it dry by itself. Um, but, you know, we don't always have that luxury. We don't always have that luxury. If you miss somewhere and it gets mixed up, um, you know, it doesn't look right, <clears throat> just go back and tap on it. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to look at this and be like, oh, you missed the spot. Like that whole line right there. Um, it's just something different. It's just something different. So far, all the Pentar products that we have used, and there's a lot. Let me tell you, there's a lot. And a lot of them, I don't even know what the heck they are. And I've got to watch a video to be like, what the heck is that stuff? Um, they're great. So far, they're great. I look like my fast video. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to. I said, how do I get this done? I'm really going to try. Let me get all this up in here. I got two minutes. Two minutes. There's nobody after me, but out of respect, I'll at least finish it. Even if I'm like 30 seconds over, I will get this finished, but I will try out of respect. You don't, you don't go longer. You don't go longer. Of course, you wouldn't be going this fast either. You'd be taking your time because this would be like a, you know, nice relaxing process. Not like going like a cuckoo person. Uh, I can never see crackle until you put, exactly, Nancy. A lot of times you can't unless, until you put the the crackle on it. Mara says it's yummy. It really is. Now you could use, you could use an orange color on this. You could use green. You could use black. You could use whatever you fancy. Um, whatever you fancy. I'm gonna have to get in those deeper things around the molds when we get off of here. I'm just trying to get the chunk of it. Trying to get the chunk of it. Trying to get the chunk of it. Oh yeah. My finger is like so cramped. Uh, I started a couple minutes late. Oh, I did, Sonia. Not really, just like a minute. So yeah, I'm right on time. <laughs> I'm actually going to finish it. Y'all, is that two things I finished in the year 2022? <laughs> Yay, go me. I'm getting better. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Tootie who, Summer. Hey, Susan from Canada. Hey, girl. All right, y'all. Like I said, I was kind of like a speed racer, but I'll, I'll take this. I will, you know, I'll fill it in and make a little better. I did not paint it first. It just did it right over the porcelain. It was just the white because I didn't do the bottom because I had to have somewhere to hold it, but you can totally paint over it. Just make sure your layers are dry in between. So we just used the horse and the hound mold. I put these on prior to, it's just some clay molds with some acorns in them on each side. And then I put the pen tart two part this is the fine line crackle which is the bigger cracks there's a classic as well it's the same exact process just a different look um like that's perfect that right there is perfect crackle um but yeah it's really easy and it's not hard it's just a process just like a lot of things we do i think people get intimidated like oh i don't know how to do that but really when you think about it and you break it down it's like okay i'm gonna paint it i'm gonna dry it i'm gonna put it on 
part one and I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to put on part two and I'm going to dry it and and then it's done. So just try not to overthink of it, overthink of it, overthink it. And uh, I did it. Stink bug in a hole. Oh, oh. Um, let's see. Would you put the crackle over clay or only, uh, what? I put the crack. I don't know what your question was, but I put the crackle. I did put the crackle over the clay. I did. And it did crackle. Probably can't see it, but it did. A little bit. Not as much as this, but it did. It did. But thank you guys so much. Um, Sonia, thank you. If you guys aren't part of Sensational Events, the link is in the description. Check out everybody. Um, I know I made it. I did it. Woo! Um, check out everybody from today. Everybody was different, different styles. Get yourself some inspiration um, for this coming fall because it's, it's about here. Yes, I sell everything that you saw me use today except for the pumpkin. I don't sell the pumpkin. But everything else, yes, scrappiesrustics.com. It's in the description. Thank you, guys. The brown stuff is uh, Pentart Antique Paste in the color Umber. You can message me if you have any questions. Thank you, guys. Have an amazing night. Bye.